Sorry for not uploading. School really wanted to fuck my asshole. But Eileen also worries for her YouTube channel to not die. So here I am. Today we are going to talk about this trash can over here. The Solar Balls fandom. Nah, JK, I honestly love this fandom. It's not that toxic. But today we are going to talk about ships. Oh my fucking god, I can, I can see many kids coming to me uh, angry with intentions to uh, kill me, uh, insult me and I don't know, uh, dox me on YouTube. Before we start, let me tell you. <laughs> if you are going to insult or you don't like the, the topic of ships on, on Dishonorable's fandom, I recommend you to leave the, this video and, I don't know, go study or something. Okay, I will give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, go find yourself. Okay, let's fucking go now. One minute into the video and I didn't start the main topic. My fucking god. Ships on phantoms. Okay. Every single fandom has ships. I mean, it's a fandom thing. It's normal in a fandom. When it... When it gets popular and everything, they always have shifts between at least two characters. Now, tell me why some people can't understand this. And in the Solar Balls fandom, because they are planets, they, they can't be on ships or anything. Bro, okay, let me tell you. Okay, they are floating rocks and everything, but... It's a show, they have personalities, they have human traits like faces and that got them personalities. They, we don't have to look at them as normal planets, for that we already have the normal planets in our sky. Just guys, chill out, let us be happy shipping planets, it's okay, it's a show, it's everything okay. But I mean, we can't. They are planets. They are floating rocks. They are. If you continue with that bullshit, I swear I'm going to put a gun in my mouth. What I mean with everything of this shipping two characters, even if, even though they are planets, it's absolutely okay. Guys, if you ship two characters, you shouldn't be ashamed of it. Like, it's alright. Everything, every single fandom has ships. Like for example, um, I don't know, Poppy Playtime, um, Among Us, um, Helula, Helula Boss, um, Has Been Hotel, holy shit, Has Been Hotel, the, the 50k drama, oh my god. Actually, Verbalize was kinda smart doing that move. I would do the same with, uh, I don't know, uh... Okay, Alvaro, take all my money and, and ship me with um, any of these. I don't know, I, I don't care about who, um, just uh, do it. <laughs> just imagine Triton uh, escaping from me. <laughs> Wow, sometimes I think I have any kind of brain damage. And you might ask, how many ships are there in the Solar Wars fandom? Well, a lot. Many. So, so many ships. Too many, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so we got um, Earth X Mars, uh, Jupiter X Saturn, Uranus X Neptune, Pluto X Char Charon, um, Astrodud X Moon. Wait, seriously? There's a ship that ships Astrodud with Moon? What? Uh, I mean, okay. But hey, guys, hear me out. We are creating a new ship. <laughs> like, Ivaro, what the heck are you doing shipping Triton with Callisto? Ship him with me. <laughs> like, uh, guys, we're creating a new ship. Uh, Triton X Alien. Trilin. <laughs> All right, to the next point. I'm going to talk about the character Sunship. Woohoo! 
In the fandom, there is two groups that ships Earth. In one group, we can see Venus X Earth, and in the other, we can see Earth X Mars. My ship is Earth X Mars. Like, seriously, the only remarkable trait about Mars is that he's Earth's best friend. Like, they are meant for each other, look at the thumbnails! It's just the <laughs> they're so cute! The next ship is a really, really, really common one in the fandom. Jupiter x Saturn. Like, I don't blame all of us, like, they're so cute to, together and they're, they're, uh, <laughs> just look at them. <laughs> Other common ship is Moon x Titan. Like, solar balls, don't, don't freak us with the Titania x Titan thing. Moon x Titan is, like, so much better. And they also look cute together, like, I love the friendship between these two. I think this ship is canon or should be canon because come on solar balls. It's Pluto X Sharon. They are so freaking adorable together. Like eh, look at the episodes for uh, their dance partners. They are so cute. I, mean, I wanna hug them so badly. Ah. And lastly this is kinda my weird ship, but uh, let me explain. Um, Maki Maki X Homeya. Um, a nerd with a shy boy. They relate to each other. They are so adorable together. Like at the scenes where they are together, like <laughs> they are so cute. They are they are so adorable. Many people ship Mac um, Haumea with Ares because of this, uh, of the line of the episode of uh, Dwar of Dungeons and Dwarf Planets, um, where Haumea is a wizard and everything. But uh, come on, I I absolutely adore the duo of Maki Maki and Haumea. They are they are so cute. They are they are just pureness. They are they are. <laughs> I think Triton and Callisto look cute together, not gonna lie, but I don't see much connection between these two. Triton, please love me! <laughs> so as you can see, I respect ships and everything uh, related to them, but seriously guys, the fandom should cool down with the, with the rule 34 and the porn art that it's coming out. Like, seriously, I search for a character on Google or somewhere else, and and there's something related to porn. Seriously, it's <laughs> it's disgusting. Can you please uh, stop drawing uh, those things? Holy shit. Change of topic. I posted a... Uh, uh, <laughs> I posted something on my... On my community about I'm going to do a ship video and you are and you are not stopping me. Okay, people accepted it and they were they, they were nice and everything, but but there are co there are really epic comments like <laughs> Venus X Shrek from DreamWorks. <laughs> Can you imagine that? My god, that's a... That's a Balfic Wattpad material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fiona, but I don't like you anymore. But, but, Shrek, why? Because I... I love Venus. Venus, come here. What the fuck? Now we are going to hear the opinions of a professional shipper. Come on, you, show them. Ah yes, ships. We all love to ship, it's part of human nature. There are quite a few ships in the Solar Ball series in the community. Although I would love to comment on all of them, I certainly can't. I'm simply going to talk about the ships I like, because that's what the video is about. Murph, a ship between Mars and Earth. 
Don't you like the best friends to lovers trope? If done right, it's absolutely adorable. At the beginning, the relationship was rather, well, rocky. Mars was always Earth's best friend, but Earth's ego always got the best of him, and therefore treated him poorly. Hell, the two even temporarily broke up. But hey, after he went to Dr. Mercury, who gave him some much-needed therapy, he now has his ego in balance and is no longer racist. Earth was even scolding Astro Dude for wanting to terraform his boyfriend. Now you might say, but random girl who doesn't have a YouTube channel. It was his ego that was hurt during that, not his best friend. Shh, 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 shh. It's gay, okay? It's gay. Merv shippers have to work with what they have, alright? As I was saying, Earth definitely became a less toxic boyfriend to Mars, and I wish the two only the best for their relationship. Jupiter and Saturn, Jatern, Supiter, I don't know. They're cool together. They're just a silly old married couple. I don't have much to say about them, other than it's obvious they're canonically married. Why else do you think Saturn has that big ring? Because of dead moons? Nope. It was the ring Jupiter used to propose to him. Honorable mentions are Ganymede and Europa, who are just so toxic that they are perfect for each other, Pluto and Charon, I mean look at them. You'll always be my dance partner, god they're so cute. And my favorite ship of them all, Sun and Therapy. Well, that's all I have to say, I have to get back to my homework. Sadly, shipping planets isn't going to get me a degree. Thank you so much for all this information, my dear friend. And to finish this video, we are going to talk about the island ships. These are ships where I get shipped with other person. And how many of, the, of them are there? Okay, I'm only one. <laughs> People that know me for a long time might know about the Uranlin. It's, it is basically Uranus is here, ex Aileen. Well, <laughs> well, the people that invented that she weren't that wrong because Uranus is here is not is now my boyfriend. <laughs> what? But Aileen, weren't you lesbian? Yes, yes, I I know I said I was lesbian, but sometimes people can change. And my perspective kind of changed as well. I don't search for a woman or a man. I search for a person that respects me, that makes me happy, and yeah. We started being a, co a couple the January 3rd, and honestly, we are so, so happy, and I'm, I'm seriously really, really happy to have him. Okay, you run. Come here, you little piece of shit. We are going to make some content on X videos. Thank you so, so much for watching this video, guys. You are guys are the best. I hope finally a school ends and I don't know. Maybe I can finally rest in peace because seriously, this the, the degrees are being insanely difficult to have. Like, seriously. I'm suffering! School fucking die! Okay guys, it's time for me to go! Now, see ya the next month! <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs>